Hey there, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to stop overthinking and start doing. So I'm shooting this video here in Stanley Park in Vancouver and you can see the whole city uh, skyline behind me. There's a few of these boats here. It's pretty uh, nice day, uncommon for December here. It was raining all the time. And the reason why I shot this video is because I've noticed that it's been an issue for a lot of people that I've encountered, my clients and myself, was a big problem for a very long time. To be honest, if you think about it, the fastest way to get unhappy is to keep constantly thinking about what you're going to do. Start non-stop worrying about what's going to happen or how you're going to do something. So when there's a lack of action, there's a mass amount of an anxiety being built up and you're not sure, okay, how am I going to do this? I need to like figure out the best way how to do it. And there's a kind of a universal law of life kind of that I pretty much applied myself. And that is um, from reading a lot of books, especially reading stuff like Aristotle and like Stoic philosophy and Albert Einstein stuff and these kind of things. I kind of came across a concept I, I'm not sure if it's original or whatever, it's a, like a curated thing of all these ideas coming together, but it's, it is the one that if the problem originated in thought, that means like if you're overthinking about the problem, then it's actually time to take action on it because you are not going to be able to solve the problem just by thinking about it. And if the problem actually occurs while you're taking action, while you're doing something, I mean, if you need to improve something, then it's time to actually start thinking more and doing it that way. So to kind of like briefly put that together, I think it goes with that Einstein's quote, like you can't solve the problem in the same plane of existence that it, that it originated on. So if it originated in thought, you can't solve it at that level of consciousness. So you have to like go to a different level, which is taking action. So that's kind of a thing that helped me a lot. And I was um, always I was always the kind of guy who is overthinking, overanalyzing things. I'm very logical in nature. I'm an introvert. And even making this video, I mean, if I had to do it before I apply this universal law, I'd probably be thinking about it for months and months and months until I would try to figure out how to do it perfect. How do I convey this? So I don't want to embarrass myself. I mean, I would be thinking about it so much that it would create mass amount of anxiety in my life just for the fact that I didn't take action on it. And if simply just doing it for one time, even if it's not perfect, instantly eliminates all, all anxiety, all stress. And immediately, even while filming it, I get new ideas. I get uh, like all sorts of these improvements coming in my thoughts that I could have applied. And it is something I've struggled for a long time. And I feel like a lot of people are struggling with this, not just in health and fitness, which is something I want to briefly touch upon is that I mean, trying to find the perfect workout plan, right? I mean, you can read a book, uh, How to Squat, but unless you actually put it in practice, reading that book will not prepare you almost at all for the actual thing. I mean, it's same as, for example, trying to read a book, How to, uh, learn, the for how to learn a Foreign Language. I mean, to actually learn how to speak a foreign language, you have to speak the language. So I would, a lot of the times, I would find myself um, using the fact that I'm learning as an excuse for not taking action. And I mean, I still am a victim of this. I read a lot of books and I find myself uh, getting stuck in this mental process a lot is that I would, okay, I'm, I'm learning. Obviously, I'm trying to prepare myself so it's good. You know, it's not time wasted. And I'm not saying learning is wasted time. And I'm not saying that accumulating knowledge is bad, but I'm saying that it doesn't lead to any improvements in the skill whatsoever. You know, before you actually start practicing the skill, there's no way you can actually improve it. And, and learning is kind of like a mask for uh, giving you a, a nice reason to, I guess, rationalize the fact that you're not taking action because you're always, you can always say, hey, I mean, when the, com when the time comes to actually make decisions and start taking action, I'm going to be more knowledgeable. But that's also questionable because, I mean, we human beings, I think the studies say that we forget within 72 hours, we forget 50% things that we learned. So, I mean, it's kind of questionable that even while reading a book, if you recall last time, I mean, if you stop reading the book halfway and you try to resume that, you've probably forgotten almost half of the ideas that were uh, presented to you in the first, in the beginning of the book. And that's simply because you haven't put that into action. So what I'm trying to say here is that 
practice is what puts the energy on the process and the process is what does give the result and I'm reading this book right now it's called the practicing mind and it really opened my mind to a lot of these things that we're overthinking we're overanalyzing we're always trying to find the best way rather than just putting in ourselves into applying ourselves to the process and trying to uh, wiggle ourselves way into the process without being ready first and that's being ready is one of the I guess the biggest biases we have as humans we always think we can get ready but think about last time I mean can you be actually ready for something I mean have you ever managed to be truly ready and prepared I mean no matter what how much preparation you put in I'm, I'm a big fan of preparation by the way it's a massive time saver I'm not saying preparing is bad I mean I obviously will prepare for this video and I'm gonna prepare for my gym workouts I'm gonna prepare for my diet I'm gonna meal plan all these sorts of things but again you can overdo that fact and the only way that preparation really works is because I'm putting it to practice so if I'm non-stop preparing what my diet is gonna look like if I'm not actually applying that diet I'm not gonna get any benefits so yeah I just want to show this quick video to kind of give that universal law uh, to you guys basically anything that you're overthinking about over analyzing it's time to take action on it because there's no way you can solve it with your own thoughts you're it's always going to be stuck in there it's going to create massive amount of anxiety it's going to cause you a lot of stress and i've been there i know and anything that you kind of stumble upon that is a problem while taking action then it's time to stop taking action reflect and try to improve it uh, to make it better and that if that law if you just simply apply that to whatever you're doing, whatever area of your life you want to improve, you're going to notice a massive difference. And it helped me so much in my life, and I feel like it is going to help you as well. And as Aristotle said, I think he, he mentioned that the only way to become a virtuous person is to practice virtue. So there's no way you can become a virtuous person, which is kind of like, a, I guess when he says virtuous, it means like knowledgeable and, and skilled person is not by accumulating knowledge, not by learning more, it's actually by doing more. And even Bruce Lee says like the only knowledge is real, only real knowledge is like self-knowledge. That means that stuff that you actually did and then you, then you reflect it and that knowledge came from experience. So that is the only true knowledge out there. So all the information you kind of absorb from books articles videos like these if you don't actually put this to practice you don't have real knowledge you, are, you just have information so knowledge is a little bit different concept than information and um, yeah i hope this uh, resonated with you i hope this uh, concept will help you out i'm sure it will if you just simply apply it and I mean it made such a big impact in my life that i can't even start describing how much it changed just the fact that i'm not even not anxious anymore i'm not stressed anymore and I'm not thinking, oh my God, I have to do this, I have to do that. And then that kind of like, you just wake up in the morning and you have that like massive burden and you're not sure what to do, you're not sure how to take action, you're not sure how to start. And immediately in my head, I'm thinking, oh yeah, remember the universal law? It's better start taking action immediately. You're never going to be ready. You're just going to be keep overthinking. Once you do act, start doing action, then we can reflect back and start thinking how to do it better. So yeah. Hope this resonated with you. Uh, if you like the idea, definitely leave me a comment below. Let's uh, discuss, let's uh, share some thoughts on it. If it helped you out, if you feel like you can implement this process. And in general, how do you deal with overthinking, overanalyzing? Just leave me a comment below. Let's discuss, let's share some ideas. And um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe on the channel below. Uh, more of these are coming. And I'm just gonna enjoy a little bit of Stanley Park here in Vancouver. It's a pretty day. Uh, getting some vitamin D3 here <laughs> it's uh, replenished my reserves because it was raining for like about 10 days and um, it's pretty nice to be in the sun so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace